All right, guys. Welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel. Uh, this morning, uh, I finished up the heads, cleaning them, and prepping them for paint. I still haven't taped them off, but uh, right now we are going to move on to removing the timing chain cover and the oil pan, uh, so we can get those taped off and ready for paint as well. So I want to do everything at once, uh, so I can start reassembling and not have to worry about anything else. So. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the timing chain cover and the oil pan and then we will go into a little bit of uh, taping off the engine block and everything. Uh, and then as soon as I get it painted, I'll do a video, maybe it'll be later on in this video or my next video of installing the timing chain cover and the new oil pan with the one piece oil pan gasket. So let's take a look at the engine now. All right guys, so I got the engine uh, turned over. Uh, when you're going to turn it over, even though you drained both banks from these plugs on both sides and removed the water pump, there's still gonna be coolant left over that will come out of the ports where your heads sit. So right down here in these holes along here, you will have coolant drain. So make sure you have an oil pan uh, or some sort of pan. I also had plastic bags under there to catch the, the splash for the most part. Um, and after that, you can see it's still on the side of the block some. Make sure to wipe that down. But first we're going to get these removed and then we can wipe everything down, make sure it's all clean and ready for paint. But right now we're going to go into removing the timing chain cover which it's just all these surrounding bolts around the outside. But uh, what you're gonna need in order to remove this is just a ratchet, extension, and a 7 16 socket. At least that's what mine are. Yours could be different. These are all aftermarket. So uh, this is what you'll need. And then uh, just, I suggest starting from the center on both sides and working your way out so you just don't take the chance of bending your timing uh, chain cover and you'll do the same thing when you're reinstalling you're going to start from the center and work your way out on both sides to get a nice even press on the oil uh, the valve cover gasket but that's what I'm going to do now and then we'll move on to the oil pan I guess so I got all the bolts removed uh, it's still being held on by the gasket and RTV, but uh, in order to get it off, you're just going to get a nice little flathead screwdriver and start your way on one end. Start, crack it both on both sides, and then move up a little bit on both sides and keep working your way till the top until you can basically pull it off. But uh, same as everything else, keep everything in one location and uh, I would like you know to put it in a bag and mark it put it with everything else that we have keep track of everything make sure you don't mix anything up make sure you don't lose any of the little washers on here keep track of everything and let's get this removed alright guys there she is got her removed um, the oil pan front seal came out with the timing chain cover still sitting on the bottom of here that's all right got a little bit of gasket to clean off of here the timing chain looks great all right guys now that we're moving on to the oil pan gasket so you know all of these along here are going to be 9 16 but the front two right here and here and then the same on the back the ones back here those are all going to be half so you'll need two different sizes in order to remove the oil pan let's get it done Alrighty guys, so just removed all the oil pan bolts all the way around. 
the oil pan should actually be pretty easy to remove uh, after you get the timing chain cover off. Either way, whether you do the pan first or the timing chain cover, it should be pretty easy. Yeah. Just comes right off. Uh, so I'm going to take this pan off and then we'll start cleaning the block and prepping it for tape. Alright guys, so got the oil pan off. Pulled the, the gaskets off already. Still got to go around and clean this up. Same process as everything else guys. Use the same tools. So be careful. Don't let any big chunks or anything fall down in here. <clears throat> Wipe it all down. Vacuum it up. Took a look at everything. It looks great. Got a couple chunks in the the oil filter or the oil pickup I should say but uh, other than that it looks really good um, I gotta put on my other oil pickup since I have a bigger pan now but I'm just gonna start cleaning this up now alrighty guys so I've gotten a majority of it done as you can tell I've removed most of the gasket uh, from here came off pretty easy with the scraper uh, because of the oil and everything that was on it uh, There were a couple spots that were kind of a pain in the ass, but I uh, just put a small amount of brake cleaner on there and it came right off uh, The part I wanted to show you guys was here on the uh, seal on the back <clears throat> Since you can't really get a scraper in there I was using this and it actually works really well I thought it was going to be really hard, but I'm literally just going over it, and it comes right off. So it's a it's a pretty easy process, not too bad. All right, guys. So got it all cleaned up, ran some brake cleaner over it, vacuumed it up, made sure I didn't have any particles or anything sitting in here. Um, got the front cleaned up, got all the gasket and everything off, as much of the oil out of here as possible, got this cleaned up, still got a couple pieces back here, um, both sides are cleaned, brake cleaner went over all of it, now I can begin taping it off so I can paint. So that's what I'm going to move on to now. All right, guys, so I'm getting it masked off now, ready for paint. Uh, this process takes a little while. Uh, tape off everything that you don't want painted. Uh, right here, I just did a couple uh, layers of tape. And then over the center, I'll just tape down some newspaper to keep it clean. Uh, but. This process, you just put on the masking tape, and just like I showed you on the intake manifold before I took it off, you're just lightly tapping. And then, it should just peel away wherever you hammered at. So it should be a nice clean cut everywhere. Just make sure you get everywhere. And there you go. And you're just gonna do that around the entire engine where you don't want paint. Uh, I still have to finish taping off the front for the timing chain and then down on the pistons as well. Just a nice one or two strips of uh, tape and then use newspaper to cover the majority of it but that's it guys uh, after this I'll show you guys the process of painting it alrighty guys so we got it all taped up ready for paint it's a great tape job <laughs> just kidding it looks like shit <laughs> but got both the top and the bottom taped up and covered so the paint job is going to stay the same. It's going to be black on the sides, red on the front, and the heads will be red as well. But uh, just giving it all a fresh new coat so it doesn't look so crappy. But uh, I'm going to start painting now. I have this uh, 
engine paint. It's uh, red. That's the code for it. And then I also have a semi-gloss black as well for the sides. Same brand and everything. So let's see how it turns out. All right guys, sorry if you can't see too well. Uh, just got the second coat of black on. I did one coat of red and uh, then I started the black and it was too soon. Uh, and they started to mix even though I tried to keep them separate. Um, so I'm gonna do the black on both sides, let it dry completely, and then I'll uh, mask it off a little bit and do the front. But that's the red so far. You can see over here it got mixed in. But uh, it's a it's a pretty decent red. Um, not as nice as the old one, the old red that I had, but I don't think they make it anymore, and I can't remember which one exactly it is. But I really like the black. Black is, uh, it's not too shiny. It's a semi-gloss, so it turned out pretty well. But I'm gonna do one more coat in about 10 minutes, and uh, then wait for it to completely dry and start working on the red. All right guys, so I just put the last coat on the engine block. Uh, heads I still have to do. Uh, that'll be for another day. I gotta tape all that up and everything. Um, but let's take a look at the engine. Turned out pretty good. Took a little while to uh, get it to where the paints wouldn't mix. But there's the black. Sorry if it's hard to see you guys. And then here's the red. Turned out really well. This was bothering me, but then I realized that's a taped off part anyways. So it doesn't matter. But it turned out really nicely. It's uh I think three or four coats of red and then four or five coats of black. I did uh, an extra coat of black just because this is the only thing that's going to be black, so I used as much of the can as possible, uh, but I had to save the red uh, for the heads. Not that it took very much to cover the front anyways, but that's it guys. Now I'm going to pull it inside, let it sit, uh, probably overnight before I take the tape and stuff off, just to give it time to cure. Uh, if you are painting a block or engine parts, uh, it says to allow seven days before actually running it. In my situation, that's not a problem. If you're doing it while the engine's still in or soon to be in, uh, make sure you just give it time to set. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'll have more videos coming soon. So as I showed you before, I got the block painted. Still haven't untaped it uh, because my next video I'll be doing how to install the oil pan and timing chain cover but since I haven't done that yet I don't want to take it off because I'm using it as a cover right now. I did get the heads done today. <clears throat> uh, came out really nicely. Uh, just got some paper stuck in the exhaust ports. Um, wasn't too worried about completely taping them off like I did everything else because uh, I'm gonna be going in there to do some porting work anyway, so the sanding bits will take care of whatever paint did get on this outer ring right here. Uh, so it came out pretty nicely. And then one of the things that I found to be more of a pain in the ass than I thought compared to everything else is actually cleaning the timing chain cover. This thing looked like shit before it was covered in RTV. As you can see, it's all over here. And since I can't really use a razor blade on it because it's powder coated and I don't want to take the chance of gouging it and worrying about chipping and stuff, uh, I <laughs> did a lot of it by just using my fingers, you know, just my fingernail. Uh, got some of it off. Then I coated it in a nice layer of WD-40 or you can use oil, whatever works for you just to soften up the RTV, makes it easier to get off. I used a pick and my plastic razor blade. This thing worked great. Um, another thing, since 
I use WD-40 on it, it's got that oily uh, layer where the gasket's gonna go. And since you don't really wanna use uh, lacquer thinner or anything on paint that you don't want removed, don't use that. Do not use engine degreaser or, or not engine degreaser, you can use engine degreaser, but don't use brake cleaner, brake parts cleaner, or the lacquer thinner, because it will ruin it. Or if you have a chrome one, uh, I'm pretty sure it would do the same thing to that. So don't use those two. Uh, I would probably just suggest uh, just rubbing alcohol. I have it down there on the bottom shelf. Uh, it won't mess with paint. Just put a put some on a rag and go around and clean it off. Um, but it came out pretty nicely. I still got a couple little things to get off. But uh, it turned out really nicely. Next thing is waiting for the heads to completely dry. Then I'll take all the paper off the engine and the heads. And then we'll finally finally start porting the heads and we can get them put back on get the new roller rockers in get everything else on it's going to be great so thank you guys for watching um, i'll see you guys next time if you guys have any questions please leave a comment like and subscribe have a good day